All right, this is intermediate algebra. We're in section 4.2, multiply and divide, rational expressions. This starts on page 145. If you want to turn there, um, we're going to start with example one. All right, example one is a multiply. x squared plus 7x over x squared times 4 over x squared minus 49. Now, if you remember rules for fractions, Rational expressions are just fancy fractions, that's all. Multiplying fractions is top times top, bottom times bottom. But it's a lot easier to simplify them if you reduce first or cross-cancel. Cross-canceling involves factors. So your first step in uh, multiplying a rational expression is going to be to factor. Factor top and bottom on both fractions. Uh, if you don't remember factoring, again, uh, check back some of the previous videos, review factoring in detail. So on the numerator here, there's a GCF of x, so I'm just going to take out an x. That leaves me with x plus 7. The denominator is just x squared. When you have a monomial, I would just separate the factors. x squared is x times x, because sometimes they will reduce individually. Uh, over here on the right, this 4, again a monomial, so I'm just going to break it down to its prime factors. That'd be 2 times 2. The denominator, though, is the difference of squares. So I'm going to write that as x plus 7, x minus 7. Now before, we canceled numerators and denominators, and you can still do that. These x's can cancel, and that's why one of the reasons why I break up the monomials. But when you're multiplying, you can also cancel diagonally. So you can cancel vertically like this, and you can cancel diagonally. If you notice, this x plus 7 and this x plus 7 match. So I can cancel them, and they will both come off like that. So then you look. What's left across the numerator is just 2 times 2, which I'm going to simplify as 4. Across the denominator, I have an x times an x minus 7, which I'm going to keep in factored form because I like factored form. Um, that depends on your teacher. So if you don't have me for a teacher, then you want to check with your teacher to see if they prefer a factored form or they want you to multiply it out to simplify. I prefer factored form because it actually shows that this cannot reduce any further. So factor, 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 factor. You can reduce vertically or diagonally. And this will be your final factored answer. Okay, example two still on page 145, says k cubed minus 3k squared minus 4k over k squared minus 1 times 9k minus 9 over k squared minus 9k plus 20. Um, you can't cancel before you factor. I know that you guys would like to cancel these k squareds. Uh, you can't do that. You certainly can't cancel them. This, you can't cancel this 9 here. You can't cancel terms. Factor, 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 and then we will cancel with factors. Uh, the first thing I notice in this numerator is a GCF of k. So when I pull that k out, I'm left with k squared minus 3k minus 4, which is a standard trinomial. Um, I believe that this trinomial factors further, so make sure you continue to factor. GCF is still there. These factors turn out to be k minus 4, k plus 1. So this is gone now because I factored it down a little further. The denominator here, k squared minus 1, is the difference of squares. So I'm going to put that here. That will be k plus 1, k minus 1. Over here on the right, this numerator has a GCF of 9. So I'm going to factor out a 9. That will leave me with k minus 1. The denominator is a standard trinomial, so it would be k minus 5, k minus 4. And then I'm looking to see what can reduce. Remember, you can reduce anything that matches vertically, like these k plus 1's match. So I'm going to start by reducing them all. Or you can reduce things that match, whoops, diagonally, like this. So look, this k plus 1 this matches. So you can you can cancel this way diagonal or this way. So let's cancel the k plus the k minus 1s here. 
and also the k minus 4s. And that means that we're left with, across the top, just a 9 times a k, or 9k, in the top. And at the denominator, these are both canceled. I'm just left with k minus 5. Do not make the mistake of then canceling these k's. These, this k is a term. Terms do not cancel. This k is a factor. So if I had a factor of k on the bottom, I could. This one so would be OK to, to cancel since it's a multiply. This one cannot cancel. If it doesn't cancel back here, where you have all your factors laid out, it doesn't cancel over here. So this is your final answer here. All right, on the top of page 146, we have example 3 which actually has three rational expressions being multiplied together. This might seem a little bit more complicated, but really it's not too bad here. x squared minus 64 over 3x plus 27 times 10x over 5x plus 40 times x plus 9 over x squared minus 8x. Remember, you can't start canceling until you factor, so we're just going to factor, factor. We're going to go factoring crazy here. I'm just going to start here at the left. x squared minus 64 is the difference of squares. So when I factor it, x plus 8, x minus 8. The denominator underneath has a GCF of 3. So 3 times x plus 9. In the middle here, 10x is a monomial. So I'm just going to break it down to its prime factors, which would be 2 times 5 times x. Underneath it, 5x plus 40 has a GCF of 5. So that leaves x plus 8. And I hope you can see already the whole reason for breaking down this monomial. Do you see this? These 5s are going to cancel. You might not have seen it if you left it as 10x here. Uh, then we have this rational expression here on the right. x plus 9 is prime. It doesn't factor. Sometimes it helps if you want to put parentheses around it so that you recognize that the entire thing has to cancel with another matching binomial. It cannot cancel individually pieces. The denominator here has a GCF of x, so x times x minus 8. And now you can start canceling. Remember, you can cancel vertically or you can cancel diagonally. But diagonally doesn't mean just next to each other. Any numerator factor can cancel with any denominator factor, even if they're this far away. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with that x minus 8. This x minus 8 cancels with this one. As long as one's in the top and one's in the bottom, it doesn't matter how far away they are. We already talked about these 5's canceling. But these x's can also cancel here. And this x plus 8 can cancel with this x plus 8. Uh, we're left with then, ooh an x plus 9 here and an x plus 9 there. So those can cancel. What are we left with now across the numerator? It looks like just a 2. And across the denominator, only a 3. So it looks like our final answer is 2 over 3. All right, example 4 on page 146 says x cubed minus 64 over x squared minus 16 times x plus 4 over 5. Again, a multiply. You have to start by factoring. So uh, x cubed minus 64, I hope you guys recognize it, is the difference of cubes. So you're going to want to go back and uh, review how to factor the difference of cubes. That comes out to be x minus 4 times x squared plus 4x plus 16. Underneath that, in the denominator, you have x squared minus 16. <coughs> which is the difference of squares. So that factors to be x plus 4, x minus 4. This rational expression over here is really easy because the top and the bottom are both prime. They don't factor at all. Using parentheses with this binomial to help me remember that I can't cancel those terms individually. Then when I get ready to cancel, x plus 4 here cancels with x plus 4 here. x minus 4 canceling with x minus 4. So don't forget, you can cancel any numerator with any denominator diagonally or vertically. Uh, so it looks like we're left with this trinomial in the numerator and this 5 in the denominator. 
So x squared plus 4x plus 16 over 5. And that would be your final answer here. Okay, I'm going to do division on the next video because I don't want this one to be too long. So to go on to example 5, click for the next video.